let's discuss some examples of sensory nerve endings. Some of these occur in the skin. So if this be the interface between the dermis and epidermis, then the cells of epidermis are called keratinocytes. We have the basal layer, the spinous layer, the granular layer, and the hornified stratum corneum. And here, among the keratinocytes, there are three nerve endings. And they carry on as a dendrite of a sensory neuron. So this is epidermis. And here will be the dermis of the skin. Then these are the three nerve endings and they perceive modalities such as pain, itching and partially also the warm and cold sensation. This would be the sensory afferent nerve fiber. So actually a dendrite of a sensory neuron. Other examples are the Merkel cells. They are on the interface between epidermis and dermis and they are surrounded by other by another uh, sensory nerve fiber. So this is a Merkel cell, M, Merkel cell, uh, responsible for feeling touch, and these are slow adapting receptors. Examples of more complex receptors uh, let this be a dermal papilla so the epidermis is here it's not important at the moment just for an overview okay the epidermis we focus on the dermal papilla here. It contains so-called Meissner's corpuscles, where the sensory afferent nerve fiber is coiled, but it's surrounded by supporting cells. So the whole corpuscle has much significantly more sensitivity and space that could be monitored. There's more leverage. So this is epidermis. And this is the papilla of dermis. The connective tissue projection covered by epidermis. Then in these papillae, that's where you can find the Meissner's corpuscles. Again, this would be the dendrite. And the Meissner's corpuscle perceives fast adapting touch and it's also a vibration receptor another corpuscle and the greatest 
of all these would be the pacinian corpuscle. There is a nerve fiber in the center and it's surrounded by concentric layers of supporting cells So they are here many layers called lamellae of connective tissue and here's the dendrite of a sensory neuron. This is called pacinian corpuscle. Or father pacinian corpuscle. It's pretty 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 uh, big. It might have up to one to two millimeters so you can see it with the naked eye and it perceives pressure and vibration and it can be found in the in the skin the dermis or uh, in the fibrous capsules Of various uh, visceral organs. Uh, they are also in the periosteum of bone. Especially rich they are in the dermis of the genital organs. And they are more sensory nerve endings. For example the Rufinus corpuscle this shape they are more widely stretched so here is the dendrite like branched here is myelination so Ruffini Corpuscle, and they are they perceive stretch. In this context, let's uh, mention also some proprioceptors. Proprioceptors are um, sensory endings or bodies that uh, report the condition of the locomotor apparatus such as uh, bones, uh, tendons, muscles and uh, uh, articular capsules to the CNS. The first would be uh, a muscle spindle with its nerve, oh, sorry, with its muscle fibers that are wrapped around by dendrites of sensory neurons and uh, so the deformation and the stretch of the muscle is perceived so, so sensory fibers going to the spinal ganglia and uh, the activity and the tension of these muscle fibers is modulated by motor innervation by the gamma motor neurons of the spinal cord and the whole system is 
and a fibrous capsule and the whole organ is called muscle spindle and because Latin word for spindle is fusus so these muscle fibers are called intra intrafusal muscle fibers and uh, their sensitivity is modulated by the gamma motor neurons. The problem here in this stretch receptor, it works as a stretch receptor, in skeletal muscles. The problem here is that this uh, receptor needs to perceive forces uh, like millinewtons but also kilonewtons so it's 10 power 5 range of for, for a sensory apparatus that could be a problem so its sensitivity is modulated by the gamma motor neurons the other regular and force generating muscle fibers you know already from the histology of muscle are called extrafusal so the majority of muscle fibers are extrafusal another proprioceptor would be the golgi tendon receptor golgi tendon receptors And simply said, if this would be the bone surface, and this would be the origin or the insertion of a muscle, then the tension in the tendon part is monitored again by these Golgi tendon receptors and information is sent to the central nervous system. And here is a sensory nerve fiber. So these are examples of proprioceptors.